Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. If you are here, you are probably wondering how to become a DevOps engineer. Well, you are in the right place. Today, we are diving into the ultimate DevOps engineer roadmap. DevOps is all about blending development and operations to streamline and speed up the entire software development process. DevOps engineers are in hot demand and the salaries are pretty amazing too. Depending on your experience and where you are, you could be making anywhere from $90,000 to over $150,000 a year. Craving a career upgrade? Subscribe, like, and comment below. Dive into the link in the description to fast track your ambitions. Whether you're making a switch or aiming higher, Simply Learn has your back. So stick around. In this video, we'll walk you through the ultimate roadmap to becoming a DevOps engineer. We'll cover everything you need to know step by step to help you succeed in this fantastic field. So these are the contents that you must learn to become a DevOps engineer. So better take a screenshot of this. Also, if you are looking forward to make a career in DevOps, definitely check out Simply Learn's professional certificate program in cloud computing and DevOps. This comprehensive course offers in-depth learning with thorough understanding of cloud computing principles and DevOps practices, guided by expert instructors with real-world experience. You will engage in hands-on projects and real-world scenarios, building a robust portfolio that showcases your skills. Plus, the program is designed to help you gain industry-recognized certifications, making you a standout candidate in the job market. Don't miss this opportunity to advance your career and stay ahead in the ever-evolving tech landscape. Check out the course link in the description box and pinned comments. So let's get started. So first up, we have the Software Development Lifecycle or SDLC. So the Software Development Lifecycle is a process used by the software developers to design, develop and test high quality software. It consists of several stages. Each stage helps ensure the software is reliable, functional and meets user needs. So, understanding SDLC is crucial because it gives you a holistic view of software development. It's like knowing the recipe before you start cooking. So, the different phases of SDLC are Requirements gathering, understanding what the stakeholders need Design, planning the solutions architecture Implementation, which is writing the code Then comes testing, which is ensuring the code works as intended then comes deployment, which is releasing the software to users, and finally maintenance, which is updating and fixing the software as needed. So each phase has its own importance, and knowing these phases helps you understand how DevOps practices integrate to make the development and deployment processes more efficient and reliable. So next, let's talk about Linux. Linux is a type of operating system like Windows or Mac OS that runs on many servers, computers, and devices around the world. It's known for being stable, secure, and free to use. But why Linux? Because it's the backbone of most server environments you'll work with. Here are the essentials you should focus on. Which are command line operations, shell scripting, learn bash to automate repetitive tasks, system administration like understand how to manage users, permissions and processes, and package management. So Linux is used everywhere in the server world and knowing it well will help you fix problems automate tasks and manage servers easily. Now, the next one is learning a scripting or programming language. So knowing a scripting language like Python, Ruby or even Bash is essential. These languages help you automate tasks, write scripts and manage infrastructure. So here's why you should learn scripting. Automation. Write scripts to automate repetitive tasks such as backups, deployments and monitoring. Configuration management. Tools like Ansible use Python for automation. Infrastructure management. Use scripts to manage cloud resources, databases, and more. So choose a language and start building small projects to get hands-on experience. I highly recommend Python due to its simplicity and extensive libraries. Now, Git is next on our list. Git is the most popular version control system out there. It allows you to track changes, collaborate with others, and maintain a history of your code. So key concepts to learn include repositories, how to create and manage them, commits, recording changes to the repository, branches, which is working on different features simultaneously, and merging, which is integrating changes from different branches. So familiarize yourself with platforms like GitHub, GitLab, and Bitbucket. These platforms facilitate collaboration and code management in a team environment. Now, 
Networking and security are critical components of a DevOps engineer's skill set. You'll need to understand how data flows through networks, how to set up firewalls and secure your applications. So, focus on these areas. Basic networking. Understanding IP addresses, DNS, HTTP, HTTPS, and TCP IP protocols. Network security. Learn about firewalls, VPNs, and encryption techniques, and application security. Implement security best practices such as input validation, authentication, and authorization. So this knowledge will help you build secure and reliable systems, ensuring data integrity and confidentiality. Now let's move on to cloud providers. So AWS, Azure, and Google Cloud Platform are the big players here. So start with one and learn the basics. So number one, compute services, like EC2 AWS, VMware in Azure, and Compute Engine in GCP. Then come storage services like S3 in AWS, Blob Storage in Azure, and Cloud Storage in GCP. And then database services like RDS in AWS, SQL Database in Azure, and Cloud SQL in GCP. So understanding cloud services is crucial as most modern applications run on cloud infrastructure. So learn about IAM, which is Identity and Access Management for security, and explore cloud-specific services and tools offered by these providers. Now next, you need Infrastructure as Code, or IAC, which is a game changer. So Infrastructure as Code is a way to set up and manage computer resources like servers and networks using code instead of doing it by hand. So you write scripts that describe what you need, and then tools like Terraform or Ansible read these scripts and set everything up for you automatically. So this makes it easy to create, update, and keep everything consistent every time. This means you can version control your infrastructure just like your application code. So the key benefits include consistency, which ensure that environments are identical. Then scalability, it easily replicates environments across multiple regions, and then version control, which track changes to your infrastructure over time. So you can start by writing simple Terraform scripts to provision resources, or use Ansible to automate configuration management. Now next up, we have microservices and containers. So microservices architecture allows you to break down your application into smaller independent services. So containers with tools like Docker, package these services and their dependencies, ensuring they run consistently across environments. So you should definitely focus on microservices, which is understand the principles of designing and building microservices. Then Docker, learn how to create Docker files, build images, and run containers, and then container registries. So use Docker Hub or private registries to store and share images. So these concepts will help you build scalable and efficient applications that are easy to deploy and manage. Now following containers, we have container orchestration. So Kubernetes is the go-to tool here. It manages the deployment, scaling, and operations of containerized applications. So the key components that you need to learn of Kubernetes are Number one, pods. The smallest deployable units that can contain one or more containers is called pod. Next, services. Networking components that define a set of pods and a policy by which to access them. And then, deployments, which are controllers that manage the desired state of pods. So learning Kubernetes can be challenging, but it's incredibly powerful. It automates many operational tasks, allowing you to focus on building great applications. Now moving on to next, continuous integration and continuous deployment, or CICD, are at the heart of DevOps. So tools like Jenkins, CircleCI, and GitLab CI help automate the process of testing and deploying code. So here's why CICD is crucial. Continuous integration. Automatically tests your code to catch issues earlier. Continuous deployment. It automatically deploys your code to production, reducing time to market. And then pipelines. It defines the steps to build, test, and deploy your application. So mastering CI-CD will make your development process more efficient and reliable, allowing for faster and more frequent releases. So next, monitoring and logging. So monitoring and logging are essential for maintaining and troubleshooting your applications. So tools like Prometheus, Grafana, and ELK Stack, which is Elasticsearch, Logstash, and Kibana, provide insights into your system's performance and help you diagnose issues. So you must focus on metrics, which is track performance metrics like CPU, memory, and network usage. Logging. Collect and analyze log data to troubleshoot issues. Alerting. Set up alerts to notify you of potential issues before they become critical. So by setting up proper monitoring and logging, you ensure your systems run smoothly and can quickly respond to any problems. So now, DevOps is not just about tools and technologies. It's also about people. 
So collaboration and communication are crucial. You'll be working closely with developers, operations teams, and other stakeholders, which mean you must definitely focus on communication tools, like start using Slack, Microsoft Teams, or other tools for effective communication. Then comes project management. So utilize tools like Jira or Trello to manage tasks and projects. And then you must develop soft skills. So develop empathy, active listening, and clear communication to work effectively in a team. So being able to convey ideas clearly and work effectively in a team is a key to your success in DevOps. So finally, let's talk about leadership and strategy. So as you grow in your career, you may take on more responsibilities and lead teams. So understanding the strategic aspects of DevOps, such as implementing best practices, driving cultural change, and aligning DevOps initiatives with business goals is crucial. So focus on best practices. Implement and advocate for DevOps best practices within your team. Next, cultural change. Foster a culture of collaboration, continuous improvement and learning, and then strategic alignment. Ensure DevOps initiatives align with business objectives and deliver value. So leadership skills will help you inspire and guide your team towards success, making a significant impact on your organization. And there you have it, the complete DevOps engineer roadmap. Remember, becoming a DevOps engineer is a journey. Keep learning. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified of our latest videos. Thanks for watching and happy learning. Staying ahead in your career requires continuous learning and upskilling. Whether you're a student aiming to learn today's top skills or a working professional looking to advance your career, we've got you covered. Explore our impressive catalog of certification programs in cutting edge domains, including data science, cloud computing, cybersecurity, AI, machine learning, or digital marketing. Designed in collaboration with leading universities and top corporations, and delivered by industry experts, choose any of our programs and set yourself on the path to career success. Click the link in the description to know more. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.